Hey, hey everybody. I wanted to make a follow-up video. Uh, last time I did some filming on a new moon, which is no illumination. It's 0% illumination from the moon. And tonight we have uh, about 39% moon. And we're looking through tree cover, which is why it looks funky there. Um, but it's at 38 degrees above the horizon. And we're filming through the same L3 filmless tube. And you can see it's a completely different experience tonight um, than when there was no moon, or a new moon, if you will. Did replace my doorbell there. That's what's lit up so violently there on the porch. And got rid of the solar light in the garage. You can see under the trees, under that canopy very well. And like I say, this is the same uh, PVS-14. It is a L3 filmless tube, 35.7 SNR. Uh, we're looking through a lift filter and a demist shield. It's a 0 0.5 EBI, and it's hot. It's humid tonight. It's a good night for a low EBI, 0 0.7 halo. Uh, photocathode response, a little over 2,572 line pair. Uh, the gain on it is, oh, I'd have to look it up, but I want to say it's around 64,000. And there are the stars. This is a hand select tube from TNVC. They picked one with excellent cosmetics for me. I don't have any spots in zones one, two, or three. And no fixed pattern noise um, that I've seen. Yeah, let's again have that walk with the 14 looking through the camera or cell phone, if you will. It's a Samsung S8, and I've left it um, to auto balance. It's showing you about what I'm seeing through my naked eye there, looking through the 14. Driveway is still obviously under heavy canopy. You can see a lot better through it. I'm going to make sure the gain on this 14 is turned up all the way. Um, give me just a second. When you're filming... Oh yeah, we didn't have the gain turned up all the way. When you're filming through night vision, turning the gain up all the way seems to really help uh, with image quality there. I normally don't run it up all the way when I'm actually using it. Like I say, this is a 39% moon and clear skies. Completely different animal from when we were looking at a new or no moon situation. Under conditions like this, um, I still think the filmless definitely gives an edge, especially under canopy. But this is where your Elbit uh, thin film is going to be just fine. Your Photonus will probably be just fine. Stuff like a Psionics is still going to struggle. Um, but the L3 will definitely get you into the shadows up that driveway. It may not look so good under a um, thin film tube. And it definitely wouldn't look good under the psionics. Anyway, um, this is a pretty good night. It's still very dark to my eyes, unaided. But it's a pretty good night to showcase um, night vision in what I'd call kind of a typical setting. Uh, it's not it's not full moon bright and it's obviously not a uh, no moon situation but you can really start to see um, what night vision can actually do. Like I say this is 72 line pair 
and I've got the gain cranked all the way up for filming purposes. The uh, camera, you can see there's kind of modulating the brightness a little, and that might be some of the automatic brightness control uh, in the tube itself. Anyway, I hope you found this informative and can compare and contrast it with uh, my previous video during a more challenging situation. Anyway, have fun, shoot stuff, and be safe.